In this demonstration, you are logged on locally with a user account that has administrative privileges. In exercise 1, you will encrypt a file and then encrypt a folder. Click Start, right-click My Computer, and then click Explore. Windows XP Professional starts Windows Explorer. Select Local Disk C. On the File menu, point to New, and then click Folder. Type Secret, and press Enter to create C Secret. In the left pane, select Secret. On the File menu, select New, and then click Text Document. Type File 1, and then press Enter to create C Secret File 1. Right-click File 1, and click Properties. Windows XP Professional displays the Properties dialog box with the General tab active. Click Advanced. The Advanced Attributes dialog box appears. Select the Encrypt Contents to Secure Data checkbox, and then click OK. Click OK to close the File 1 Properties dialog box. An encryption warning informs you that you are about to encrypt a file that is not in an encrypted folder. The default is to encrypt the folder and file, but you can also choose to encrypt only the file. Click Cancel to close the encryption warning. Click Cancel again to close the File 1 Properties dialog box without setting up encryption on File 1. In Windows Explorer, right-click See Secret and then click Properties. Click Advanced. The Advanced Attributes dialog box appears. Click the Encrypt Contents to Secure Data checkbox and then click OK. Click OK to close the Secret Properties dialog box. The Confirm Attribute Change dialog box informs you that you are about to encrypt a folder. You have two choices. You can encrypt this folder only, or you can encrypt the folder and all subfolders and files in the folder. Select the Apply Changes to this folder, Subfolders and Files option. Click OK. In the Secret folder, right-click File 1 and then click Properties. The File 1 Properties dialog box appears. Click Advanced. The Advanced Attributes dialog box appears. The Encrypt Contents to Secure Data checkbox is selected. Close the Advanced Attributes dialog box. Close the Properties dialog box. Close all windows. This completes Exercise 1. In Exercise 2 of this demonstration, you are logged on using the User5 account. You will attempt to open an encrypted file. You will then try to disable encryption on the encrypted files. Start Windows Explorer and open C Secret File 1. A Notepad dialog box appears indicating that access is denied. The file is encrypted, and User 5 does not have access. You now attempt to disable encryption on the file while logged on as User 5. Right-click See Secret File 1, and then click Properties. Click Advanced. Clear the Encrypt Contents to Secure Data checkbox, and then click OK. Click OK to close the File 1 Properties dialog box. The Error Applying Attributes dialog box appears and informs you that access to the file is denied. Click Cancel. This completes Exercise 2. In Exercise 3, you are logged on with a user account that is a member of the administrator's group, and you will decrypt the folder and file that you previously encrypted. Start Windows Explorer. Right-click See Secret File 1, and then click Properties. Click Advanced. Clear the Encrypt Contents to Secure Data checkbox, and then click OK. Click OK to close the File 1 Properties dialog box. You have successfully disabled encryption on File 1. Close Windows Explorer. This completes this demonstration.